Hey guys, Mike here at Steel Green Manufacturing out in the warehouse. Got another short video clip here for you again today. This one is going to specifically relate to our high pro roller pump option on the high volume machinery. All right, so what I'm going to talk about here is going to be this, this roller pump and the extra items that you're seeing on the machine that you would not normally have. Everything on the dash is going to remain the same besides your main gauge will get changed to 100 pounds of pressure just as this gauge is here. Um, what I'd like to go over is the operation of these two valves that work with the pressure relief valve you have here. This is a valve that you can unlock the set screw nut on it and change where you have the relief popping at, what pressure, what pressure you're saying this gauge gets to before it starts bypassing fluid through these lines back to the tanks. So if I were to be running two chemicals in my machine, I would want this tank open and I would want the other side closed and then I would want the valve on this bank that runs to this tank open, which is this one, and this one closed because I would not want my pressure relief to pop and me mix chemical from this tank into my other tank. If, if you're using the same chemical in the whole machine, then it really wouldn't matter what position you have these two valves in. And you could just run by operating these valves here on the, the standard setup for a suction return to the main liquid tanks. One other thing I want to go over is you're, you'll never really want to have this pressure relief valve screwed all the way in. It'll most likely be about three threads out, like mine is here. And if you catch your pump ever wanting to pulsate or rock or make a silly noise, then that means you're probably going to need to back off your, your pressure relief valve. You've got it set in too high. Say you're going along spring and your boom nozzles are on and you turn the nozzles off. You don't turn the pump off. You turn the nozzles off. That means the pump's still running and you just shut off its big outlet for pressure. It's going to spike on your gauge and maybe start to shutter the pump and you don't want to do that because you can blow a fuse. So just simply back your pressure regulating valve off until you can get the pressure you want on your gauge with the standard valve on your dash and then you'll be good to go. Okay, a common question we get is, you know, why do you have two pressure gauges on this system and are they supposed to be the same or is one going to be different? Well, the answer to that question is when you're running this machine correctly, you should see identical pressures happening on the gauge on your pressure relief as well as the one on your dash, as you can see here. Hey guys, thanks for watching us here and checking out our videos. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us via email at parts at steelgreenmfg.com or go to our website, which is steelgreenmfg.com for other ways to contact us.